Hello again and welcome to our GCP Mindset channel where we discuss all topics in the field of clinical research, clinical studies, medical devices, pharmaceuticals and etc. My name is Carol and our topic today is on how to choose the right EDC. By now, you should be aware of EDC or electronic data capture and the importance of a good EDC system today. The days of paper data collection are gone and everyone has moved to electronic data capture. Why? Less paper, less margin for error, speed, real-time data, fast data acquisition, etc. According to ICHGCP, sponsors should ensure and document a risk-based validation of electronic trial data handling systems and maintain SOPs for using these systems. As a sponsor, we recommend you start thinking about what EDC system you will use already during the planning stage of your clinical study. Consider your study design, what data you need, your critical data points based on your study question, the complexity of your study and how big it is. Is it a multi-center, multi-country type of study? What data sources will you be using for data collection on ECRF? Will you have questionnaires in your trial? You will also want to consider the whole system functionality, not just for that one trial, but what about the follow-up studies that are larger and have more sites, subjects and needs? Consistency is advised rather than constant switch from one to the other. You can save time and money this way. We have worked with several sponsors for different study types and in general, here are some key points we would say as a sponsor you should consider when choosing the right EDC for your trial. First, functionality is key. How user-friendly is it for the sites to use and enter data? Are there any functionalities that will be too complex to enter data fast? How is the login process? Is the query resolution process easy to understand? How quickly can one navigate through the visit? What about a help desk? Should the sites have any issues? Will they have someone to contact? Visually, is it appealing to look at? Does it offer a dashboard, etc.? From our experience, sites will lose motivation quickly if they are required to enter data in an unnecessarily complex and time-consuming EDC system. But the opposite is also true. If the system is well-designed and easy to use, entering data can suddenly become a fun task. Second, system setup. How quickly is the system set up? This is crucial for your startup as you do not want your whole startup delayed due to lack of a well-set EDC. We have some EDC systems that we can set up in under three weeks, while some can take months to set up. Beware though, with some fast setups, it has to be done well, as mediocre jobs could mess up your whole entire study data. You have to ensure the team that is setting the EDC and ECRF have well experience and all parties have to be diligent in testing the ECRF before going live with the study database. The same applies for the final steps, the data export process. Does it allow one to quickly and easily access, export, extract patient data with matrix that provide progress insights? Third, modules complexity and reporting needs of your study. Does the EDC allow direct reporting? How easily would it be to integrate other data sources or modules like pharmacovigilance, including the science forms, randomization forms, EPRO, central lab, ETC? Fourth, system validation. Is the system validated? Is the data secure? How stable is your EDC? You'll want to consider carefully on whether the EDC you select is compliant with all standards, regulations, and requirements from ICH GCP to GDPR, 21 CFR, Part 11, even study data tabulation model. And last but not least, costs. If you have a small, easy study, there may not be any necessity to use a fancy, high-end, expensive EDC system when in your case, the basic one might just suffice. Cost is an important factor, but don't focus only on the cost. Try to choose a platform with minimal surprises to avoid unexpected payments for each additional task. Even the best planned studies will require some adjustments. EDC systems cover a wide range of costs from free to extremely expensive. Therefore, consider discussing options with your CRO, as they may often have different EDC options to help you manage your trial. We encourage sponsors to communicate their wishes if they already know what they want so we can tailor their study to the best fitted EDC system depending on the needs of the study. 
Sponsors should categorize the criteria on one, cost, efficacy of the platform, how adaptable is it, and the level of support they will get throughout the conduct of the study because EDC systems provide real-time access to data, meaning less time is spent on manual entry and query management. They also save you a lot of time, once set up and trained on the platform, the ability to quickly and easily access your data becomes second nature. Some examples of EDC providers we have recommended include the likes of Vido, Castor, QCTMS EDC, We've linked them below. We hope you're now ready to discuss your EDC options with your CRO. We hope you liked this video. Subscribe so that you don't miss any more content. See you next time. Goodbye.